right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Don't Be Sour. I'm your host, Max Tuning, episode 80. 80. 80. 80. Which means that we're 20 away from what, Joe? I'd say about 200. Correct. Yep. How many has Joe been in out of 80? <laughs> what percentage? Like 30. J- Joe's the unofficial, official, unofficial co-host. This is the most consistent thing I've ever done. I realize that I I am single handedly keeping you relevant on the internet. I am single handedly keeping your podcast alive. No, because I, I still think I could do a solo podcast. It would suck. Yeah, I think that'd be a bit boring. Yeah. Move the mic a little closer to your mouth, dude. You would go on some thirty minute rant about DoorDash and no one cares about, and then have to cut it out after the fact. Well, I film like forty five minute Q and A's all the time, and they're they're one out of three out of ten <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> I, I feel like I could. I, I'm so engaging that I think people could talk, listen to me talk for like long periods of time. I disagree. What? I do. I think you're engaging. I don't really like solo podcasts. Max will talk to himself. But the only good solo podcasts I feel like are people reporting on like news events where there's like yeah, things or like to talk a about really the whole time. Good when, story. When you talk to Joe, don't turn your head. Do the mic. You put, <laughs> Am I supposed to talk to him? Well, you. I, t- I told you to move the mic. No, I think you're paranoid, dude. There we go. It'll be all right. That's weird because I edit it, Joe, and it makes it more I know, difficult. But you said that about Taylor last time, and it sounded fine. Just, just you turn the mic, bro. You're a YouTuber. Adjust it. <laughs> Look at this mic, man. Just go like Sholly and hold the mic here. The oh whole my time. God! Hold on a second. <laughs> Maybe here. I think we got. It. Uh, David's back on the pod. I mean, we had you on two times ago. Caught you up. Back from Spain, Joe. How do you feel about Joe, uh, David being back? It'd be cooler if you moved back here. But Austin's yeah. closer than Spain, so that's it, cool. It's relatively close. My first time seeing Joe since being back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. This might be the first time I've seen you since we went skiing. Yeah. February 2023? Yeah, I think so. I don't think you've been back. I think you were back, but I don't think I've seen you since then. No, guys, I, was, guys, I wasn't he, back. I wasn't. Hey, hey, Max hey. came yeah. to Spain. Hey, yeah. hey, you know how, like you said, no one wants to hear me talk about yeah. just myself? No yeah. one wants to hear personal conversations of when y'all saw each other last because no one cares. They might care. It's irrelevant to them. you got to stay on top. That's why we're <laughs> starting this pot out with some current events. There's some stuff going on in the world. And these two big brain liberal uh, Republicans over here, mm-hmm. which one's which? Joe's apparently Joe. Joe is Fox News. Everyone says I'm not Fox News. They, I, they, I get both sides. They go here. How they, someone said last time they said here's how people get their news: Taylor TikTok, Joe Fox News, Max Joe. <laughs> Look, I try <laughs> to watch other news networks, and they're retarded. So I don't really watch any cable news. Do you watch any like YouTube news shows? No, I mean I just see like little clips. Like I'll, I'll watch anybody as long as there's like somewhat decent. All right, we got yeah. this solar eclipse coming up Monday in uh, Austin, right? Well, it, it's across the whole country. Yeah, I it's mean, everywhere. It's, it's it's a big deal. It's a uh, but I heard people are flying into Austin for it. Well, so correct. There's, there's only there's, like seven states that have a hundred percent coverage. So there's only like certain places to get totality. Yeah, totality. And it's only, I think, what, every 40 years or something? 30 years? Yeah, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. This is a solar eclipse. Yeah. So this is moon in front of sun yeah. versus lunar sun in front of moon. Yeah. Is that the, that happens more often. Yeah, but I don't think you can really see that one. You I mean, have like a special tele, like you, how the hell would you, you see the moon see in front the of the sun? sun? Dude, the, yeah, sun, the sun's my favorite planet, dude. When I was yeah. younger, I stared at it for hours. Um, now, if you didn't know, the sun is 400 times further from the Earth than the moon, and the sun is also 400 times larger than the moon. Nice. Okay. But... I got all the so dogs is, were like, yeah, all right, we it's have, time to come. All right. Yeah, we got a whole... We it's, can it's, come it's a, it's a right dog now. podcast. Yeah. But some, the, the big thing about this, so it's, this, I think this happens every like couple hundred years, okay? But people are saying that this is going to be a biblical event because... Here's where there's a little conspiracy about this. You heard about any of these? Nope. Okay. So in 2017, there was an eclipse in Maconda, Illinois, not to be confused with Wakanda. Mm. And this event, which has never happened before, I believe, there's going to be a crossover of where the totality happened. There's a crossover at Illinois. Happened in 2017, and now this path is going to cross over and create an X. And people believe that it is going to wake up giants. No, they don't. Yes, they do. This, <laughs> no, there's all don't. this stuff because they think it's a biblical event. Guys, guys, go, go, go. What do you think about that? I don't know. What do you mean it's going to create a crossover? What does that mean? 
Well, David, crosses are when one thing crosses the next. So basically, there was a, a, an eclipse that went one way, and then, okay, it went over this Illinois place. And now this new one is crossing over there as well. Uh, it's creating an X, this an path of this so eclipse. So X marks a spot. X marks where the a giants spot. Are. In, in, in Illinois. People think that there's uh, Alex Jones, yeah. you guys, I know Joe, you love. He, uh, <laughs> there, he put out this thing that basically said that there's going to be like a, it's, there's like going to be a biblical event yeah. because of this eclipse happening. I mean, he called the frogs being gay. He was right about that. He I also, mean, he also kind of called 9-11 happening. Did he? I was being sarcastic, but I don't know if frogs are actually gay or not, but. There's a whole thing. You should watch that. It's good. It's good uh, clip. Yeah, that is a good clip. Yeah. Well, he's, he's putting, he's putting stuff in the water, dude. He's predicted a lot of things, right? He's predicted a lot of things wrong. Look, if... I mean, I don't even know. It, I, okay. Have y'all ever seen an eclipse? When we say giants, we mean like giants or just like tall people? I think... No, I, I, not, 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 not your people, Joe. <laughs> yeah. No, this is going to be... This is going to be like... I think they think that because this, this random event's happening, it is created by... A higher being, and yeah. it is going to be maybe like a day of reckoning or something. Okay, this is what I saw. This is my problem, dude. I look. I'm trying to look at news, and it's yeah. like I, I I read waking up giants biblical event. What news source do you use for this? I Google eclipse. Is this, is this CNN? And then I see all these TikToks. Of these like, there's like women and. Men. I mean, look, there might be giants, or it might just inevitably be the the paths are going to cross at some point. I think this, nothing this is, has to happen. So yeah, I know. think nothing is going to happen yeah. at all. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's going to get a little weird outside for like 30 minutes, and that's about it. We literally last year did this. Remember when the shadows were all weird on the pavement? Mm -hmm. That was that was like a 90% cover. I don't know why people get so... So one of my employees is actually taking off on Monday to drive three hours... Wimberley, probably. ...to yeah. somewhere else to see this totality thing, because he's like, you know, you're never going to see this again, and he wants yeah. to see it. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, but like I can just see it on a photo right after. Like what, what I'm going to look at is exactly what is going to be on the internet that I could see. And why do I need to see with my own eyes? Well, I don't know if I agree with that logic. Yeah, but that you should never go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just go on YouTube and watch a video of every beach. You're good. You don't well, need to go to the beach. I mean, another example, mm -hmm. uh, Taylor really, 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 really wants to go to see Taylor Swift on her Eras tour, which is crazy expensive, by the way. Yeah. Um, she's uh, torn all over the world. And the Eras tour is on uh, Disney Plus, right? You can watch it in this event, and, I, and I'm like, Taylor, you're getting the experience right here. Like you're, you're getting, getting a better experience. You're getting honestly. the best angles, yeah. close-ups, the whole thing. The audio is perfect. And in my head, I'm like, why would you want to go to this concert and sit, you know, spend ten grand to sit, you know, two thousand feet away from her, and and then eventually, and you have to look at the screen anyway because you can't see her. But everyone's like, it's the experience, but I don't understand it. Well, I did go to one Kanye West concert, and it was it was an experience. He's the only concert I go back to. So I understand she really likes Taylor Swift. There's something about being there. Yeah, true. No, I, I get it, but the Eclipse I feel like thing, the Eclipse is cooler than the Eras tour. Yeah, but you're going to look up and be like, oh, and then it's over. It's probably like a cool, it's probably like a spiritual thing for a lot of people. Why? What does that mean? I mean, you're, the sun's blocked. I don't know, it's cool. It's, it's, a, like, it's, it's a, a rare it's a, it's thing. It's a nature phenomenon. Like, I would be more inclined if you said, like, go see Humpback Whales do something in person. That sounds cool to go see in person. Going to True. a concert, I don't really care about. I've seen what I've done. I would kill to go to F1 the first time. And then since then, it's gotten worse every year. And now I'm like, I would never want, like, going to F1 race sucks. Just watch it on TV. It's way better. It's, I'm with you. I think, I think once you do it once after that, like, I, you're, you get a better experience. Same with football. Everyone's like, you got to go all the football games. Like, no, you get a nah. better experience at home. Yep. 100%. Tell that to the people who are spending ten grand a seat at the Super Bowl. I, know. I think it, it's crazy. Just people getting shit faced. It's like the only way they can get away from their wives and get drunk. So that's why they love going. So they can. You know, I always I always hear about down. hear about that of like people like when they make I don't know I, I don't know if it's like a, a commonality, but you see on like stuff of like oh they're like getting away from their wife or whatever. Yeah. I'm like I feel like if even have to joke about like oh finally you know get some me time away from the wife. I feel like it's probably a not an ideal situation if you're like. You'll get there. Desire. Dude. No. Yeah, give it like 20 years. To like desire to like get away from yeah. your partner. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like why, why? Like, But that's like the same, like some, the guy was doing, I don't know if the guy was doing our lawn. Someone came by and he's like, oh, my marriage, I know it was the chiropractor, the chiropractor. He's like, oh, you guys married? He's, I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, my marriage advice, like don't get married. My kids advice, don't have kids. It's kind of like a stereotypical joke, I think. Like but icebreaker. I don't know, but at the same time, it's an I, icebreaker about hating your wife. I think most people probably are not in great relationships. Dude, unrelated. I was shopping at well, not unrelated, but 
You ever have people that just like share too much information that you have no clue the fuck they are? I was buying shoes yesterday at the mall and the guy behind the thing out of nowhere, he was like, yeah, I just moved. Like my wife left me, had to buy a new house. Like kids just graduated high school, but we can't afford college for him. So just a little stressed out right now. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, who are you? He's got no one to talk to, Joe. I, I guess. I'm just <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, yes, I was doing. I was like, good. How are you? And that was his response. And I was like, okay. said, well, since you asked. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, all right. You know, I was actually thinking the other day, like when you walk by someone, right. And you're like, you're both like in a hallway and like, you know, you both, you know, you're like, you're just going to pass each other and you say like, Hey, hey, and it's like, how are you? Good, good. Like, you don't have to stop and make, like, you can just, like, you, you can, if someone says, how are you? You can yeah. just say, how are you? And you don't have to actually say how you are, right? No, but, living in an apartment, I, every time you get in the elevator, like, there's just small talk. I don't even know what they say half the time. Half the time, it's like, oh, like, how are you? I don't even hear what the fuck they say before I walk out of the elevator. Like, I, I really don't miss that. It's I, a that's, formality. That's the one thing I don't miss about the apartment life is getting in the elevator, especially like, like 11 p.m., taking the dogs out to go to the bathroom, and then someone like Chatty walks in. You know, to be honest, I don't know if it's a mm. Scrooge in me, but when I first moved to Texas, I, I don't even want to use the word like annoying because it wasn't that. It was just more of like a unique experience. But like when I would go to Alpha Elite and all this stuff, like I didn't process that like the same people are there like all the time, right? So, but there's like a lot of people that I know that go to Alpha yeah. Elite. So every day I was like, I have to say hi to like 25 people every day. And it sounds like, oh, you don't want to say hi to people, but I'm just like, ah, like do I, every time I, if I see someone every day, like 20 different people, I got to be like, hey, you, 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 hey, you, like every time you make eye contact. Yeah. But that's also like Southern hospitality is a real thing. Cause I get like, when I go to Colorado and stuff and it's like, you've been in a gas station, you'll say like, oh, like, like if you say hi to somebody, like ten look people. at you like you're crazy. They're like, what the fuck did you just talk to? Ten, ten, pe same. ten people per place. That's my cap. Ten yeah. people. I, after ten people, I, I don't say yeah, but you're from the north. I'm, I'm like, from this. Bro, like, we're like raised call, here. No, okay. I got I got I'm saying people from Texas are more inclined to like small talk and ask how you're doing and stuff. Up north, like you don't talk to people besides people you know. First of all, I want to clarify something. Yeah. People always refer to Virginia as the north. It might be the south. Y'all were, get, were rooting for slavery 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are Confederates. There, there are, <laughs> and you that. can drive in Virginia, yeah. and there's some place you'll drive on the highway, and there'll be like those hundred foot flagpoles that, yeah. like, so you can see it from the highway, and like it'll be like a giant Confederate flag. That's Virginia South. I think y'all are right on that line, though. I think like y'all are split down the middle, maybe. That's what West Virginia. Really? Vir West Virginia separated from Virginia became West Virginia. Fun fact: that song, "Take Me Home, West Virginia." Yeah, that's a song about Western. Virginia, not West Virginia, but West Virginia uses it as, 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 as like, they use it in their songs, but it's not about the state of West Did Virginia. Did they separate because they were the South or they were the North? I have no idea. Okay. Anyway, continue. Um, yeah. You're from the South. We get it. Virginia is the South. But it's not the same as Texas. Like we're the dirty South, dude. Yeah. Like Louisiana is a different South than Yeah, but Virginia is Virgi where it all started, <laughs> right? What started? We pioneered this. America. Virginia? I don't think it was Virginia, was it? Have you heard of the colonies? Yeah, but I don't think Virginia was the first you heard, one. You heard of Jamestown? Where did the Mayflower land? That was Jamestown. It, it, was that Virginia? It, it, the Mayflower is like my area. That's, oh, that's shit. I look stupid now. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look something up. So I grew up in Boston, and somewhere around there, there's a lot of pilgrim and, and that type of stuff. I mean, all Virg these places are like... Why do you think Virginia is where... George Washington's houses, Monticello, Monticello, and that's just just Thomas Franklin. I didn't Franklin know this. I didn't. I Thomas thought, Jefferson. I always thought it was like Delaware or something. I don't no. know. No, no. Listen. The, the, oh shit! I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. The I'm, the Mayflower <laughs> arrived in Plymouth, which is in Massachusetts, yeah. and, that's, ah. and that's where like my mom used to take yeah, me. Plymouth like, Rock. Yeah, they were like, ah. I, I, my mom would be like, let's go see the Plymouth Rock. And I don't want to fucking see okay, the Plymouth you're Rock. You're like, Max is full of shit. I was like, no, no, no. This 1620, dude. This is the problem, dude. Whenever see, we, I'm from the OG state. Whenever that's we some disinformation right there, Max no, is no, spreading I, I, lies. I, I got to address yeah. this too because a lot of times we can't cancel this podcast. We we talk about yeah, we we dabble in politics, bro. And if you even say one thing that like is incorrect people will just basically think that like you don't know and like i get attacked I, if I like one now. one thought that i have like i read it wrong or something or like i forgot one thing and people are like blues in their minds and i'm like i will say that based on what you just said i don't trust your historical united well States if that's the case anymore. then that means every time anyone says anything political i go hold on a second <laughs> hold on a second i'm gonna mm -hmm. fact check every single thing fair you need to get a, a Jamie. Uh, yeah, pull that up. A Don't Be Sour Jamie. Who's that? We have no one. That's that's, uh, that's a guy that pulls Ro it up. Rogan's uh, 
Yeah. Editor fact just check fucking guy. Googling like really, really yeah. fast. Like yeah. at all times. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't like to have the screen. Um, <laughs> Where were you going with that? Which, I know. I'm just saying like. He's not from the South. He's, oh, he's oh, from okay, the yeah, South. Yeah. So you're trying to say you are from the South. I am from the he South. He identifies. But it's a different South. south. We're, Virginia is the South. Virginia doesn't have Southern hospitality. Yeah, we do. Nah, not like us, dude. Wait, is Virginia North or South of the Carolinas? <laughs> oh, pull out that see, phone again, see I want to say David is so stupid for not knowing that. But, I, but, but I'm I, not from Virginia. But, but I don't say that. You know why? Because it's okay to if you don't fair, know. I don't know. I mean, the, North Carolina is above South I know Carolina. All the states. Virginia is above North uh, Carolina. They're both. So to me, the South starts in North Carolina. Virginia is still part of the North. What? I would say, yeah. Like it's, it's, in like, it's in like the D.C. area. Like you lived in Northern Virginia and the D.C. The D.C. is not the South. Just because no it's called gonna Northern Virginia DC. doesn't mean it's the North. Isn't it like the tri-state? No, but where does like it fall DC? vertically? It's like level with like Colorado. And I wouldn't say Colorado is the South. It, 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 it doesn't matter where you are. It, it I matters. Mean, when you're calling it the North and the South, I think it does matter if you're North or South. Wasn't Virginia literally like in the Confederacy? Yes. Is that not the South? I'm not saying y'all weren't racist. I'm just saying <laughs> y'all were in the North. Y'all were some Northern racists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all really, really didn't like them. Y'all were trying to. <laughs> we are the stuff, but not really. Uh, <laughs> if I ever have to shut this podcast down, it's because of this. No, you're too worried about little things, dude. Like being from the south. <laughs> you're not from the south. It's fine though. Okay. Uh, next up on my current event list. What we got? Okay. See, normally I flow stuff in, but then I had people yelling at me about trying to flow stuff in and make it a natural. So now, now I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let everyone else just run this podcast, dude. Yeah. Big thing happened on April 1st. What happened on April 1st? April Fool's Day. Correct. But here's something that's not a joke. What happened in California? On April 1st. On April 1st. I have no clue. I don't know. God, you guys don't pay attention to the news. Bro, no one cares what happens in California. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. This is going to affect This is gonna yeah. affect a lot of people. TikTok and, ban? No, you wish. Uh, $20 minimum wage went into effect for... All basically, if you have over 60 locations, so you're like a bigger thing, a bigger, like a franchise. Yeah. So you have to have over 60 locations. Um, and it has to be, and this is why it classifies as a, um, a fast food because it, it only applies to people or restaurants that have over 60 and like the customer pays before they eat. And as long as if you make your own bread, you're exempt. But if the bread comes frozen or something, if you serve bread, but anyway, minimum wage for fast food restaurants, fast, essentially, essentially only fast in California. Only in California, I, I believe. I believe. I believe. Does. Please, God, don't fact check me. I I think it's yeah. California. I mean, it sucks for California, but we'll be fine. Twenty dollar an hour minimum wage. I did see this, um, and I saw that. I don't know if it was McDonald's or it's, whoever it was. Somebody already said that they're going to raise prices to Correct. offset this. So yeah, it's uh, congratulations, California. You shot yourself in the foot. Can't even get cheap McDonald's anymore. No, that's what people don't people don't understand. Everyone's like, "Oh, we need twenty dollars an hour for a minimum job or minimum wage job." But that's going to cause them to raise their prices, which causes inflation to go up. So, yes, you're making $20 now, but everything's going up 20%. So it you're not also, making any more fucking money. You're just driving the prices up. It will also tend to reduce employment. So there'll be more people who can't get a and job. Robots. Well, someone made a tweet that said, imagine if you went to school yeah. for four years and got out and started making $60,000. You're pretty much barely making more than someone that is flipping hamburgers at McDonald's. Yeah. Like... Or if you were working somewhere that doesn't fall under this, uh, like has to raise to twenty dollars, mm -hmm. and you're making you 15. know fifteen or something, now you're saying now everyone's going to quit all the other locations or McDonald's. force everyone who, you know, d only applies to the bigger companies who maybe could afford this. Well, that's why I see locations, but now everyone who works at the random ice cream store or something is like, I can just go to work at McDonald's and get a five dollar pay bump. So now it's going to put a lot of pre I feel like I understand what they're trying to do, but I feel like no matter what, it's like a lose. It's like someone's going to lose. It's just more. It just seems more like, I don't know, like identity politics or just like virtue signaling from the, the, Cali, the Californian government. You know, well, they're trying to make what they're trying to do is create a career out of a fucking starter job. I don't even think That's it's what that, though. No, that is what they're but, trying to Because no 16-year-old is getting a job at McDonald's and complaining that they don't make enough money. It's like your 50, 40-year-old people that have been working at McDonald's for 20 years. They're like, we should make more, which you shouldn't no, be working at McDonald's I, I, after that much time. I agree with that. I'm saying the passing of this legislation, I think, is more just like I think, California politics. Like, just, Yeah, and yeah. also I think people complain about price of living and everything in California. And I, I agree. You, I don't think you can live in California at $12 an hour. Right. 
but that's y'all's problem. That's the argument. As that's long as argument. it stays in California, I don't care. Like California. What would you say fine. to the argument of people who are getting this $20 an hour and say that like they deserve the $20 an hour because wait 12 months until groceries are now double the price and your $20 is the exact same that you had when you were making $12. It's going to happen because now your Big Mac is 10 bucks instead of six. So you make 20 or but you you're spending all that 20 the same way you would your 12. Or do you think there's a, uh, or do you think this is going to expedite the automated kiosks and what they call That's in the yeah. business? I think the, I think the company has actually called this. It's called like f- the flipper and it's a, like it's a uh, automatic flipping. It's automatic like burger cooking machine that'll just flip the burgers, do the burgers. Like it'll do everything for you. Well, I'll tell you in Europe because we just moved back. Every single McDonald's, every single Burger King, all of them are all automated kiosks already. So it's literally just you walk in, you order there, and then they just. I mean, obviously, they're still cooking. That's it, now most of them here too. Taco Bell's like that. Now. Well, I guess when you really look at it, you you from a consumer standpoint, I'm like, I like I get why. So that people are going to lose their minds on this, but like I get why the machine can replace a person just pressing machine buttons when there's quote unquote, like not much skill to just take an order that the machine could do other, other tasks maybe require manual labor machines, but you got to think like as society like progresses, like why would you pay someone to press the screen buttons when the person ordering can just do that exact thing themselves and you're, cutting a job. So, so there's a multi-depth kind of question. So what do you, what do you, what do you think about technology being either forced because the, uh, the cost of employees are going up, but like, what do you think about, I know we talked to this a while ago, but now it's like kind of realized real life happening, um, of like technology taking over jobs and people losing jobs because of that. Like, what are your thoughts as business owners of trying to optimize your business and lower costs, but also supporting jobs, paying people, hiring jobs. I mean, the economy changes, right? Like there's different things that change the economy. Right now, a lot of it is gonna be AI. I don't even consider, this isn't like AI though. I think last time we talked about AI, this is just yeah. like a, ma- a machine. And if I'm a customer going to McDonald's, I prefer that because it's not the machine's not gonna fuck up my order. Like I clicked the right thing. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just like a, a reality of the the, the, the the changing technology of the world, you know? So what you, like uh, if, if someone's only this, only, this is to Joe's point. If someone's only skill they had is they they can stand there and listen to what you said. And, oh, cheeseburger! I get cheeseburger. I mean, the, the the clock's ticking on their usefulness anyway. You know, I have the same answer every time we talk about this. But what we have to do as a world, I guess, globally here, is figure out if taxing people to subsidize paying them because we can't give them jobs anymore is more efficient than just letting them keep their job and replacing them with robots. If we replace all the low level jobs with robots, the government can't have 8 billion homeless people running around. So we have to pay them on welfare. So we can do that, but then we have to tax everyone more money because we have to start paying people to stay home and do nothing. And then society as a whole is as dumb as you can be because we're literally going to be paying a billion people to sit at home and not do anything. You know, but is that more efficient? Is it better to just pay them to do nothing? That is kind of fucked up. But like, are they more valuable to us to stay home than to actually work? That's mm. what we have to look at as a country. You got to do one or the other. We can't replace all the jobs and not give them a new job. And there's not enough new jobs to give them. So we just have to put them on welfare. This is always such a polarizing topic yeah. because you have people that are either business owners and understand why this is a, maybe a net negative for mm-hmm. a lot of reasons of like how it's going to impact and hey yeah we have to pay more but now we're gonna have to increase prices and it costs all these things and then you see the other side of the spectrum that like has the people who are the workers are saying like i want to be paid more i i deserve to you, be paid more you, you have more money than you need correct i don't have as much money as i need I, I, i'm you know this business would be nothing if i didn't you know do this job whether or not it's replaceable or not so it's 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 hard it's it's definitely hard. That's why it's like I'm always like feel like I'm talking out of pocket because any thoughts I have is from a business owner perspective, and maybe comes off, uh, maybe rubs people the wrong way of maybe people who are on the other side or are, are just working for someone else and you know want a want more money for just because I guess. It's hard. To, I mean, it's hard to relate to that. I understand. I understand that mm-hmm. it's like yeah, you have more money than you need. I don't have as much money as I need. It's not fair. At the same time, like if you take a very passive role in your life, like it's not gonna. You, well, can, be, you can be mad at everyone, I'll but say, it's not gonna lead you down a good place. I uh, 
I've never in my life seen more, and I think it's just because social media has become so popular and now people are just very open about talking about things, but I've never seen more. Like, it's crazy that I'm seeing videos online so much about either people complain, like openly complaining about the place that they work about for X, Y, Z reasons. I have to do this. I have to do this. This is ridiculous. I'm not getting paid mm -hmm. enough at this. Like they're complaining about the job that is providing them an income or seeing videos of people just very openly saying how like tough it is like to pay bills and everything. And I, I always, I was talking to Taylor about it the other day. I was saying like, I, like I, 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 I see prices going up on a consumer and a business owner perspective, but I guess even before I started these businesses, like when I was younger and I wasn't making, a, I made up to, if I made $10 an hour in 20, from like 20, uh, 2009 to like 2012, an inflation, what would that be roughly today? Like 14. Okay. So I made no more than $10 an hour until I was 23 years old. Okay. 10 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. And I worked a lot of hours, but I, I, that was the cap. It was actually like 950. I just told people 10 so I could round it up. But, um, there was many things that I wanted that I couldn't afford. Right. There was things that I wish I could get, but I couldn't just go do whatever I wanted. Right. Because I was like, I don't make that much money, but I would never think to just complain about not having money. I would just go, Oh, I just don't buy that yet, or I need to save up more, or I need to find ways to like make more money. And I feel like nowadays the generations are just complaining about not being able to buy things rather than actively trying to do things because there's nothing stopping anyone. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I know people may fail. I know it's expensive, but like there's nothing stopping anyone from trying to start their own business, right? Like, but I think a big part of the problem, uh, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Is, yeah. You can sit there and complain about it, but I think part of it is like, on social media, you get like attention for like complaining like because sympathy. maybe it's relatable to other people. Yeah. And then like, I feel for people like, what? like but then you're like rewarded for complaining. Cause it's like, Oh yeah, all these other people hate their bosses too. And then it's a little bit echo chamber. Yeah. Yeah. This is capitalism at its finest, dude. Like we live in a country, like distribution of wealth goes to the business owners. That's how this whole thing works. But there's a chance that you become a business owner. Or you put yourself at the top or we go to like communism where the top is the government. We all work for the government. We get our credits daily and our piece of bread and everyone's on a level playing field. The distribution, it's still going to people. It's just going to government officials instead of now the best friend of the president gets to make a billion dollars a year instead of Jeff Bezos. But it's the same shit. It's just. And you get worse quality everything because there's much. no competition. But those are, I mean, those yeah, are yeah. the two options. And that's, I think a lot of your lower level, I'm not going to call them lower level, your people that are complaining about minimum wage and stuff, they look at communism like, oh, that's great. We should do that. But, but it's, it's just not. like, it's just but, having a victim mindset. That's all. It's just like, I, I don't have which, power over this. Say, it would just though, be like, nice if there is, someone I mean, solved it. I, we see it all the time in manufacturing. So like there are people that like the, the opportunity just never was there. Correct. Or, Correct. Like, there's you always, there's shit, always, you get a shitty hand dealt. Like it's easy for people that have money to sit here and be like, oh, if you try hard to do this, you can make, but like there are legitimate people like they just can't catch and a I'm break. I'm fully aware never, of that. Yeah. But there are also people who have. And for those people, like, I mean. I don't know what to say to them. Like, do they deserve more money? Probably. So what, I don't know how to. So with all of this, with all of this being said, minimum wage increasing, people yeah. complaining about costs being too high, uh, can't afford rent, rents going up because of, you know, everything, everything else happening, inflation, all this stuff. Like, wh what do you find to be the, the, I know there's not like a, a simple answer, but like, what do you think the solution to appeal the most amount of people possible on all levels? Uh, uh, Bro, if there's an obvious solution, you, uh, I, mean, I think we kind of know about it. I th like I think like Joe's saying, it's like there's there's capitalism that I think overall is is the greater good for most of society. Or but I'm saying, like, how do you? So all the people that are on all sides of of the of mm -hmm. the of the you can't the, solve for everyone. I don't think we're going. I mean, what do you think what it I fix the earlier, most amount of problems? The like government subsidy, like that. We're going that regardless what side wins and who where we're going. Like that is as technology takes over jobs, like that we're going that way. There will be more people on government assistance in the next 10 years than ever. You think? Yeah, they're going to have to. Because if they don't want to raise the minimum wages, but the price of living is going up, they're going to have to get you money somehow. So something's got to happen here. Either minimum wage has to go up or the government's got to step in and start helping people out every month. Because I can't, you can't say that the average rent in Houston, for example, has gone up 50 fucking percent in the last five years, but wages haven't gone up 50%. I mean, I, you I can't think, have half the city be homeless. So someone's yeah. got to do something. It's just, I, it's a, it's a, it's, there's no winners in any of these cases mm -hmm. because example, it's like if, if, uh, it's like if prices of a supply go up 25% as a business, right? 
you're like, okay, I need to raise my prices to offset at least, and it, maybe it's not 25%, but I raise my prices a little bit. People get mad and say, oh, like heaven forbid you just make less profit. But until you own a business, people don't realize like, well, <laughs> if you want this business that you love, support, work at, whatever, to grow to a bigger business, to be in more stores, for you to have a, to grow within this company, to hire on more people, to, to, you know, whatever the positivity of this business is doing for the the world, hopefully some, some, on some level, like, like you need that capital to grow. So it's like a, I feel like it's a double-edged sword of you're, you're damned if you do damned if you don't, because then you're shooting yourself in the foot. If you don't r adjust maybe your business based on yeah. the requirements of the price increases. But you're talking specifically, specifically about inflation. If what Joe's talking about happens where a lot of like, let's say you don't need half your employees in, in three years because there's a software or a machine that does it. Technically, your prices go down, and that could lead. There's this one. Uh, this what's her name? Catherine something. Arc. Uh, Arc mm -hmm. Capitals, who's predicting like a, a crazy deflation as humans are replaced no. by labor. Maybe, but the taxes will offset that because the government's got to pay all these people, so they got to take it from you. So our taxes will go up to cover the price of covering 10 million people on welfare. I got an idea. It'll just move. It'll move from your costs to your taxes. What if about that's what happens? What about this? Yeah, it's tough to because yeah, they've yeah. already they've already started. Sorry, they've already started floating like automation taxes on businesses. So like the more automated you take your warehouse, the more you get taxed for. Ah, it. So see, I, I didn't the, know about that. I don't know if it's passed yet, but they've been talking prevent, like Janet Yellis and stuff has been talking about that would, automation taxes and stuff. So that like, would prevent the deflation. You're saying it wouldn't prevent it. It would still cost you let well, it would still cost you on your books less money to run your warehouse, but you would have a higher corporate tax mm. well, on if, that if, money. If that happens, it's not it's not like a given that just because things become more automated, they'll implement an automation tax. Well, if those people can't get jobs. All right, what do you think about this? That's this, the problem. What do you think about this solution, <laughs> okay? All of a sudden, right when there's the totality of the eclipse, okay? Yeah. Out of the ground, the giants stick their hand up and they hold a button, okay? And if you press that button, you know what that button does? Stops. The, does this what we talked about the last podcast we did together? Let's tell, finish with the I've button. I've never said that giant okay. hand comes out of the ground okay. and holds a button. Yeah, about what the does the button do? Yeah, what's the button I'm yeah. going to tell you if you shut it's up. It's probably the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Go. What do you think I'm going to say? And don't worry about it. Just tell us. We're, we're waiting. Just stop time. No, 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 no. No, this is new. <laughs> it's <laughs> the giant. It wipes out all money. All Bitcoin. All money. Yeah. No one has eh, zero dollars. There's no money. No one has any money yeah. because money doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. We start fresh, bartering system. I'm, I will so tend to your lawn with my pickaxe. Well, no, we have electricity. No, but we just don't How have you money. How for that? Bartering, dude. You're paying Bar for electricity with bartering? Bartering. Okay. I, th I think uh, there might be this straight anarchy if that was to happen. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Damn. So being in Texas, a lot of guns around, things, uh, you know. Dude, Max be poor again. You'd have to start using your insurance at the ER for sure. You wouldn't be able to afford that. <laughs> and you know what I would do if I lost it all? I'd yeah. go, I need to figure out a way to get more bartering systems. Like, lucky for me, I have 8 million bags of candy in a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get you pretty far into this society, dude. Um, uh, speaking of anarchy. 99. Anarchy. This is one of the you doing one of the transitions. I'm doing one of the transitions. <laughs> yes. There's some anarchy in homes. How about this squatting pandemic epidemic? You heard about this? Yeah, Florida just got rid of Do, it. Uh, I actually this is this is way more prevalent in Europe, by the way, because the, the laws there are way more favorable uh, to squatters. Okay, now b before I talk about this, I what I did is I watched five different videos, and I'm sure yeah. that wasn't fucking enough that. <laughs> I was like, okay, because I was like, I need to understand this more because I was like, yeah. you know, you see people like someone else is in their home, but th the police won't do anything. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So I, I looked into it. Are y'all like aware of like what is even happening? Well, are you aware why those laws exist? Uh, I, I do. I, I think I do. It is from a different time. Yep. And it just never was fixed. The reason those laws are around make okay. a lot of sense. You want to explain it? Or no, I want, want you to explain it. I want to see if it's the same thing I would have said. This is... Going back to like Western times, before there was a whole lot of documentation on this shit, people, settlers, would go find houses. No one lives there. No one's there. They'd move into them. And then this law was technically put in place so someone couldn't show up at your door eight years later and say, no, this is actually my house. Get the fuck out and kill you and take your house. That's where the laws came from was back in the day where there wasn't a system to look up who owned the house. And you had people that would just claim you're in their house. Get out of my house. And it was like, no. Then it just never fucking was resolved. It's like there's a couple laws left that are just like from old 
That's essentially what it was. Now the argument's like, oh, it's protecting people that maybe lost their jobs that need to keep their house but can't afford to stay there. Well, that's the argument now is that if someone's paying rent and they can't pay rent, but they've been in that place for mm-hmm. six years or whatever it is, that, that they, yes. they have some protection. But that they was not the, admi- the original out. law was not intended for that. It's now, just kind now of been I'm shifted talking, to that. there's a lot of different types of squatters. Yeah. Okay. Um, High bar, low bar. I, I was going to make a, a pooping <laughs> reference, but um, <laughs> but I'm talking about the squatters that like you go away on vacation, mm-hmm. you come back, there's someone in your house, and you go, get, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of my house. You call the cops, they don't do anything. But it has heard to, about this. It has to be long, about this. But it has to be longer. No, 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 no. Take it like a- no, 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 no. No, see, what you're talking about is someone like taking ownership of a property that has been do- uh, dormant for like, yeah. w- in Texas, it's like 10 years if yeah. no one, whatever, okay? This is, someone can just literally be in your house that you own and the police can't do anything. And I was like, oh, not this, in d- Texas. This, this doesn't make sense. Yeah. I, w- I looked on some news and I want people to fact check me here. Yeah. But the idea is what people are doing is you can go in someone's house, okay? And what you do is you, you act like you live there Right. So you have to, maybe you're like tending to the yard. You have a photo up. You have some stuff. And the idea is that if the police come like if so, if the police showed up at your house, like right, right now, your house, and they were just like, hey, uh, someone says that this is their house. And you'd be like, no, this is mine. Like, could you immediately find your deed to your house like right then and there or something? Like, can you it's prove public record, isn't it? B- but the, the yeah. idea is that like the police can't prove that the person that's in your house isn't the actual owner of the house, right? Because the person won't go, but you know, I, I don't live here. I, I, I know squatter rights. They're saying, no, this is, this is my house. But this they're lying. This isn't squatter rights. This is just lying to the police. Well, well, it's, well they're, they're, it's, it's, they're squatting, but there's like kind of two different layers to this. So basically why people are, are like, people can stay in their house is because the police can't remove them because they, they can't like, it has to go through the judicial system. So you have to take these people to court to do this whole process to prove that you are the owner of that house because they're going, no, like, we, no, this is, we, we live here. Yeah, but like Joe said, it's, it's public record and it's yeah. going to take me 10 minutes to pull up the, the contract. Look, in Texas, it's not that big of a deal, but I do know like in New York and in California and stuff. It's in California, people are getting like a, like, like the owner of the house is getting, I oh, saw yeah. that. I There's saw like, there was a thing in New York where like the lady called to get them kicked out and then she got arrested because I guess she was all upset and yelling and stuff and they didn't kick them out and they arrested the homeowner. But that's not, I mean, I guess it's squatting, it's squatting, but it's more like just because tricking the police. That was, yeah, that was, I think in that situation, they had two homes and they were gone for months, came back and that person had just been living well, in their house. It's, and it's then, because... It's because like, so trespassing is like, yeah. you're breaking into something, but the people that are like squatting on this property, they're acting like they live there. Like, so they're going in and they're doing basic things. Like, oh, no, I was like, I just like, see that? I just raked the yard over there. Like, yeah, I like, they're acting like it's their home. This is, so then they can't prove that they're trespassing. This is why we need a lawyer. Someone, someone that knows this comment down below, but in Texas, in Texas, if you have, are there for t- 10 years, yeah, yeah, no, no. But I'm saying we have, it's we have, yours. We have castle. Doctor here, yeah. Meaning you can shoot someone. Who's so in I guess my can question you go would be: Into if, your house and shoot someone? Well, I, you can't be charged for breaking into your own house. You yeah. own it. So I'm like, if if so, if I get home from vacation and someone's in my house, I'm not saying you should just kill people. But Joe said his last thing is itching to use his gun. I'm just like, if someone's in my house and <laughs> we're they connecting won't, the dots yeah, here, and they people won't let lost me in, their mind about that. If I if I just break my window, go inside, shoot the person in my house, call the cops, say I got home, this guy ran at me and I shot him. I own the house. They're you should not, be like, good in Texas. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. what's stopping people in Texas right, right, from just, like, right, someone right, squatting in your house? Just right, right, listen to this. <laughs> Speaking about gun laws. <laughs> they should have broken <laughs> the house. Joe goes, like, itch resolved. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know if that's legal or not, but I don't think I can be charged for breaking into my own house. So I'm just saying I'm laws like, are funky. And basically yeah. the police are saying, we can't, we can't, like, do anything in this scenario. You have to go to court to prove this. Like, w- basically, they're, yeah. they're going, we can't just remove these people from your house right well, now. Well, this became a hot topic because that fucking migrant dude on TikTok, y'all see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, every, he was like showing like, he was giving like, like a five s- steps a step to like, two, become yeah, like, like the, how to get a, into a the country, squatter. where to go to get through the border. What? Then once you get here, what to do, what to say, how to get into a house to squat. Like he like, literally was like a tutorial on how to like illegally come into the US and steal someone's home. How to squat. And I think they took, a, I think they arrested him actually. I think he got arrested. I know it, they took his TikTok down and I think he got arrested. Did you see after they, he got after, deported. What? Uh, but like yeah. after like, People were just giving him bad press. I didn't even. This I think before he got deported. Yeah. Then was we to, to make a full circle about people complaining about like minimum wage. He was complaining and crying on TikTok. Like people are being like 
mean to me about like what I'm saying. <laughs> like, bro, you're telling people step by step how to break like multiple laws. Mm. But, but wait, one thing in Spain, okay, because gun laws are like the opposite of Texas. There, yeah. you, you can own guns for hunting, but even if someone was to break into, what are you hunting in Spain? This, I mean. There's animals there to hunt. I know, but I'm I'm, ask, I'm, I'm not oh, asking. I've, I've never like, been. I don't know. I'm not asking like, oh, no, well, I, no, no one hunts in Spain. I'm saying like, what do they hunt in Spain? I mean, I don't know. Like, or something? Yeah, 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 but like, what, what Spain animals are there? I don't know what. I mean, just, I'm not from Virginia, you no, know, yeah, so I don't know where North Carolina is. I'm not from Spain. What animals are in Spain? I assume some kind of deer. Yeah, I don't know. The or point is, rabbits. the point is, if you own a gun for hunting, even if someone was to like break into your house and be yeah. like raping your wife and you there's no there's been That's there's been the, cases of this and and you were to shoot him with the gun you would go to jail because you're not allowed to use it for self-defense like it doesn't matter the circumstances which seems wild what don't like that no. you know so, what so we came back self-defense <laughs> that's why we moved back <laughs> when i when i walk uh with taylor and and dude around the house uh, yeah. around the neighborhood um morning or night i always take one of two things okay I take my Tommy gun. No, I don't have it. <laughs> I, uh, I always take uh, my little mace. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you should take your purse. You can hit him with that, too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, you know what? First of all, before I say I'm the second as thing. A, as a man? I think. There's a mace on my walk. There's a beta. What's wrong with me? No, it's not. There's a beta move. Yeah. No, it's not. In hindsight, though. I think it's the best because then I know I'm not going to kill them, but I, I can go. <laughs> and, and, and I can What be, color is your mace? Ink. Is it fucking teal? No, it no no no. It's a little black one with a little red cap. I'm talking shit, but like you're gonna see on a news article, I'm gonna get like attacked by a bear and not have my mace or something, and this is the downfall of me. What, I, I, bro? I, you can't. They, that's like man code. You can't be carrying mace around. That's like Taylor what are you should have mace about? on her keychain. Does Taylor have mace on her keychain? Yeah, and that's fine. Then you're good. Yeah. Well, she, let, let her, her let her, let her carry. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, I want to break down this more. Do you have a little holster, on? like a button? You like unbutton it and. <laughs> What's wrong with carrying mace rape, around? You have a rape whistle. <laughs> Is that I, the other thing you take? In my hey, I, I have I have mace in my car. Yeah. I have mace in. Mace guy. You got mace right here. I don't have mace on me now. <laughs> right. You're uh, yeah. Luckily, I got you guys. All right. Continue. Okay, so you're anti mace. What's the second thing you carry? I know the I know the third thing maybe. <laughs> well, well, it's a weapon. It's my dick. No, I uh, I carry a knife. If I don't have the mace, I carry a knife. Which actually, I'm more stressed when I carry the knife. I prefer to carry the mace. How big of a knife? It's like a little one. That ain't like a that? knife. That's a knife. <laughs> yeah. um, I would say the blade is that about you carry one half the, the size of my wiener. Uh, what? That's like a five inch blade. It's you carry a knife with a five inch blade. It's like that. It's like a flip out one or like yeah, a fucking flip, flip out. Is your neighbor? I don't carry okay. my kitchen knife around. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's a that's a big flip out knife. Is there a lot of crime in your neighborhood? <laughs> no, bro. But I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to get in a situation where I need to. Look, the only time that I will say your mace thing might not be the lamest thing I've what ever heard. What if someone tries life. to rob me? No, no, no. I'm actually thinking like, like if I was walking Cinna and like a pit bull came out of left field and was running at us, then I think the mace because I don't think I want to shoot that Here's, dog. But like the mace exactly, would stop that situation pretty quick. First of all, maybe little, it won't though. Side tangent: in my I neighborhood, know. I have never in my life experienced yeah. a neighborhood where more dogs get out of their yard. It is actually, it is like a problem in my neighborhood. I have probably experienced like individual events of probably six to seven times a different dog has come out of the yard and it blows my mind how this many dogs are getting out of the property yeah. in a small congregated area. But a lot of times, and I don't know if this is me being paranoid, but like if a dog gets out and a lot of times it is like run at dude, I have no fucking idea what this dog's going to do. Yeah. And a lot of times I take dude and I, well, I can't now with the hernia, but like I'll, I'll, I hold dude up, like up here and I'm, I'm ready to like throw him over a fence or something. And then like, but with, the, dog. with the dog, but that's also part of it. Cause all these dogs get out. Yeah. Not like I'm walking around and think I'm going to mace a dog or something. No, but that's better than shooting a dog. I'd rather mace a dog than also. I didn't mean it when I said pit bull. It could have been a Yorkie or something too. I don't know why I just went to pit bull. You have a Doberman. But, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would like the mace for that though, because like I don't want to shoot some okay, random so dog, the, but I would mace a the dog. Self defense. Like when I walk around with the mace or my pocket knife, yeah. uh, or my, my knife, but I'm always like, I really hope I don't actually have to use this. Yeah. You have a gun too. I can't walk around the neighborhood with my gun. Why not? Can I? Yeah. I live in a school district. You're not. You can't go into the fucking school. Don't go on the school property, but you can walk around your neighborhood with a gun. Yes. But, yeah, but, but, but then you're that guy. If I see someone walking the dog with like a gun holstered on their side, I see people walking around um, 
the, there, I've, I've, I see people regularly, one that actually walks around like the outside of Alpha Land, like down the street, which is like a weird place to yeah. be walking in general. But that guy, I, every time I've seen him walking, he carries a baseball bat. He's like an older guy, oh, yeah. carries a baseball bat. And there's a-, a uh, Is it for self-defense? Is it gonna, I'm assuming- Or is he gonna play some baseball? No, no. and then there's a, there's a mom that walks around my neighborhood and I, I, you know, I understand it. She walks around with like a nine iron golf club. Like yeah. a, she walks with a golf club. That is very common in, I'm, I'm in Houston and all the time when people walk their dogs, they either have a golf club or a bat. I really? see that a lot. Yeah, but Houston's brothers. You know what have, I did? We have homeless I, people everywhere. I, I mentioned this to Taylor and she said like, she's like, yeah, she's like, I, if I had a golf club, like I would beat the fuck out of someone. And I said, Taylor, with all due respect, yeah, I, don't think so. I said this, I go, Taylor, yeah. if you came at me with a golf club, or even, as I said, even if you had a knife, Taylor, like I am confident that it would not be, a, like I, I'm confident that I could dethwart, like I could beat you with a knife or a golf club. And she's like, if I start swinging the golf club, I was like, I, I'd Catching be fine. First like, swing, yeah. You just, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just for looks. But. So you're anti me carrying the knife and the mace. No, the knife's kind of cool. The mace is pretty gay. Yeah, but like, what else do I do? Like, what if someone com comes up and train some martial arts or something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have fists; you can use those. What if someone else has mace? <laughs> this is the <laughs> craziest crime. <in> <laughs> you and some guy are macing each other. <laughs> Would mace stop a, a pit bull though? That'd be quite like if a full speed pit bull at you. If you mace it, I don't know if it's why do you think dude. that every animal that's going to attack you is a pit bull. I mean, well, just, they're a more the aggressive breed, yeah. Or even Senna. I don't know if I don't know if Mace like if Senna wanted to kill you. I don't know if Mace is putting her down. I think she might just power through it. I think I think a yeah. I think a pit yeah, bull. I don't know if Mace can do the job. Do you know why? I care? I'm, this is the last thing I'll say on yeah. Mace. Do you know why I carry Mace? I've never been Maced, but I bet if I got Maced, I'd go like I'd be like. We had a, <laughs> our childhood friend's older brother used to Mace us all the time. Or what? Pepper is Pepper spray and Mace the same thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah. No, no. Here, here's a fun fact. Yeah. You idiots that don't know anything. <laughs> we, we don't know about our mace. Mace <laughs> is a brand. Mace is pepper, pepper spray. spray. Yeah. Mace is a brand. This yeah, the, his this older brother would occasionally, we'd just be like doing something and like, you just. <laughs> what? Spray. Yeah. In the eyes? Uh, not like direct eye shot, but like he would just like spray it in the room and run out. Like even just, in the room. like it would you, just sting. And then yeah, you just like I mean, touch you your just, wiener <laughs> and stuff? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, not not fun. I've never. Have you ever been pep, mace pepper spray? You used to tase us too. Yeah, no, I, I've gotten I got tased. tased a couple times. But Julia got me. You know the hot one show? Yeah, she got me like, the hottest hot sauce on there. The atomic one. Yeah, I think that's the one it was. Yeah. And I was eating with it, and it's. I mean, it's really fucking hot. But afterwards, I didn't think it was on my hands. So we're already we're watching a movie. I touched my eye. Uh oh. Mm. I was in the bathroom for like an hour trying to words out really no really i touched then i went to the bathroom i touched the head of my penis that's not fun no no bro it was it was for like a, a 24 hours I, I took a couple showers it was like torture so that so stay away from the hot one sauces. explain explain the pain <laughs> explain the wiener pain <laughs> it's the deep burning sensation nice. on did, did it travel down the very short shaft or did it like <laughs> just stay on the tip it stayed on the tip this could have been an std it, I mean, it was a convenient timing, man. Right after this, uh, <laughs> well, what did you try? Did you try, like, I would have, water. I would have literally, I would have gotten a bowl <laughs> milk. of milk <laughs> just, and just set. I didn't go for that. I don't know if that would work. <laughs> Why well, wouldn't, I would, I would have, yeah. Because you can't milk suck in. What? And it goes out. The burning's not like on the skin level, it's inside. Are you saying you would use your wiener as a, as a like a, a straw? A, a, no, I'm saying you can't do that. If you could, then the no, milk thing might be a good idea. No, you just rest it in the milk. Yeah, but it's not going to go in there. It's not going to fix the problem. He didn't put the hot sauce yeah, it got in, in, there. in his yeah. urethra. If it burned, it urethra. did. I don't think it's, it went down the hole. Okay, all right. Did it burn I'm, when you pee? I mean, it did. Joe, Joe tonight, See, but the, the whole thing, thing kind of burned. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you need to test this out. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Speaking of, this is actually what we're gonna do um, for a fun event at uh, my bachelor party. Put your wiener in. Milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna put wieners in milk. Uh -huh. um, I'm getting married in October. Yeah, I think I'm. I, I've I've asked David to be one of my groomsmen. Um, I I have not formally. You but, know, you know, you're gonna be. You're gonna one. Ask hey, him speaking now? of, if Chase is watching this right now, you're running out of time on the bachelor. Pro we're waiting. Okay. Yeah, here, yeah, I was asking about last we're, night. We're running out of time on here's the bachelor the plan, party man. situation. Yeah. Here's my thoughts. Yeah, I don't really care about a bachelor party. It doesn't matter if you care or not. It's you got Chase's it. responsibility to put it together. Yeah, but he's only going to do it like if I wanted. No, you have to have it. I don't really care. We don't have to. There's going to be strippers and cocaine, I, but we at least have to do something. I agree. I agree. It's got to be. There's got to be something. Just hanging out with the bros. It's got to be something. Do Do you want me to tell you what I actually would love to do? Here's the things. Mm. I would like to either go. I would like to go snowboarding. But, that's, we're but out of time on that one. Out of time, or yeah. you have to go somewhere that's going to cost. Every, I don't want everyone to spend five grand, ten grand to like fly to Zermatt so I can go snowboarding in Switzerland. Yeah. You know, 
but I would love that. Um, I would also like to go, I would love, love to go off-roading. I would love to take my I Jeep and some other done. things, but I'm like, I only have one seat. Like, how, how would no, that even there's work? there's places where we can rent. There's places where we, it's going to be expensive, though, but there's places we can go where, like, everybody can rent their own Jeep and then go do some trails. But see, like, I, what I don't want to do yeah. is, like, I don't want to go to, like, I don't want to go to clubs. I don't want to go to. Yeah, I don't have to. Like I just don't care. That's like not, I really I'm don't care. We have to. We're not going to do anything. I don't like part. I don't like events that are like focused around me. That's why I made sour strips on my birthday, so the day can be around sour strips, and I can just end my birthday as fast really? as possible. I hate parties for by myself. I hate them. I hate them. Ever since I was a kid. Max, we want to. We want to. I'm stressed. It's the same. We want to. We want to party for us. They don't even look for you. It's for us. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're like I need to get away from my wife. You know. <laughs> he needs to, uh, <laughs> do you? Are bachelor parties, do I have to pay for anything at my bachelor party? No, typically not. So y'all all split it? Yep. Oh, then Wait, I want to go to, then I want to go to Zermatt. Hold up. <laughs> does we really, we split this? Typically that's how it is. Depends where we're going. I, I think, Why does it matter? I don't know. Right. I think I paid for my, my own stuff in our, my, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't expect to, yeah. like, my, my boys I can't remember. Did I shit? chip in? F- I don't remember. I don't remember. I think for a party, yes, but I think we're flying somewhere. Like, I don't think no, we're no, no. booking yeah. your flights and stuff. Yeah. How does that make sense? Look, I don't know. This isn't our <laughs> problem. It's Chase's problem. Chase has to buy everyone. Yeah, he's got to do this. No, uh, no, he's got to plan it. We do. We're running out of time. I mean, you're. Yeah, but I. Max, see, you're getting married in like six months. That's why I think I can just get out of having one. Christian, no, Christian didn't have, have one. Christian didn't, didn't have one. I, I was excited because you're the only person. I have like six weddings this year, and you're the only one that I thought was going to have. Do you know why I don't like having stuff for me? It's what? like when I was younger and I would have. Uh, I would like you'd stay over at a friend's house or stuff. I would always want to stay over at my friend's house rather than them stay over here. My mom would always kind of be like almost offended. Like, why don't you ever want to bring your friends over? But I was like, I was like, when I would be bored doing nothing, sitting at my friend's house, I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, yeah, we're just, yeah, we don't have anything to do. We're just hanging out doing nothing. But like, if we're at my house, I'd be like, fuck, they're having a bad time. Yeah. So, so at the bachelor party, I'm like, I don't want to do it of event about me because then I'm like, what if everyone isn't having a good time? And then I'm stressed out. That's not your responsibility. Yeah. Just you got to do one. You want to be like Max's bachelor party? Fucking suck. I'm gonna text Chase after this and figure out what's going on. I'll send him a text too. Yeah. We gotta put some pressure on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. in relation to the wedding, um, I need I need to buy some um a suit for the wedding because Taylor is very specific about this that I need to get an ivory just either a jacket or a tuxedo but like an ivory jacket to match her uh, dress. Taylor said if I wore color to your wedding, I would be escorted out by security. She's very adamant that. Besides your shoes, your fucking wedding, dude. She said <laughs> every. <laughs> There's no security. <laughs> she said every person. <laughs> Max gets mace. So I, like, I, yeah, I will. I have like five maces, <laughs> you bro. Carried, I don't even. Yeah. There's mace under you your never chair. Know when the dog's gonna attack. Um, <laughs> Taylor says that everyone has to wear black. Like she's like literally like you have to wear black. Yeah, but then she said shoes were fine. Shoes are fine. But not. I have to wear all. Not for me. I said, can I wear a colored tie? She said, no. Yeah, you can't wear a colored tie. Okay, but I can wear red loafers. Sure. No. Nah. Mm. But anyway, I got to buy a suit. Yeah. And now. I think you rent a suit. No, because you I'm rent, gonna rent, I got to I will it. tell you right now, like, I think I'm renting a tux for because I'm never going to wear a tux besides your wedding. Well, well, you're, you're never going to get married, well, Joe. But I, like, I bought one. I did a custom tux for my wedding. Okay. So, so I can use that. I can use that for yours now. Is it black? It's, it's it, black. It better be. Okay. It better be. But here, here's, here's the kind of the question. When you go to get a suit, like, let's get a custom suit. You want to get it fitted yeah. to you. I feel like I'm always a hypocrite on like what I'll spend money on, but what I don't spend money on. And in my opinion, like a cu- like a custom suit from like, let's say suit supply or like some random suit company in my mind, I'm like, you know, they're going to take a suit. They're going to fit it to you. Yeah. But like, I don't care that it's, you know, Italian you know, George Armani. Exactly. But like yeah. uh, Ryan from ghost, yeah. he was like, he's like, Max, you're wedding. Like you, for, for your actual wedding suit. He's like, you need to get like a Tom Ford. You need to get like a nice suit for the wedding. But I'm like, do I care to spend like five grand, 10 grand on a suit because it's like the suit for my wedding and I want to get a nicer one just that day? Or like would a $800 suit beat it? Like to the person, it looks the exact same. Like what's your thoughts on like getting a nicer suit for the wedding day? Or should I just get like a, just a suit that looks nice. It's not a, I got to tell everyone it's Tom Ford. It's, you know, Italian threads. I didn't do suit supply. I did the other, what's another one? It's like suit supply. It's one of these. 
custom suit places. I don't know. Men's warehouse. But like, what's your opinion on just <laughs> getting a custom suit versus like for your big day, getting like a really nice. I think you should get a nicer suit. I don't think you have but to what go makes like $10,000. Nice, what, what makes it nice? I, I, did, I think it just looks nicer. I think I can tell the difference between a $2,000 suit and a $300 can suit. Can you though? I think so, yeah. Well, I did Indochino. I think it was about 1000 is what it came out to. But it was, I feel like that's fair. Yeah, it was nice. I don't think you should like go get an express fucking suit for your wedding. You, I think having a custom fit is nice. I like yeah. that. Well, you always got a custom custom fit for sure. I got off the rack for Christian's wedding. I actually fit pretty well. Surprisingly mm -hmm. enough, if you're Express? tall and slim, Express is like yeah. Like I do their have suits one good are like suit. fitted from. Yeah, yeah, but but so so you think I should buy a because what I want to do is I in general I want to go get a a couple suits because I want like like I want like a kind of like a like a. Like a purple suit, yeah. like a green. I want a couple different suits. A just purple suit and a green one. Were you the Joker? <laughs> <laughs> Not purple and green. No, I'm talking no, like both options. Like like darker colors. Like, like so, if I go to events, like I want to have. I think it's good to wear like kind of like louder suits that like okay. you, you you wear you rock them. You look good in them. I wear a purple. Pimp. Let's wear a purple one to the no, wedding. You're, bro, when you Taylor think, would lose <laughs> her mind. When I say purple, I'm not saying Barney, bro. I'm saying strong, it's like dude. it's like it's a, a shade cane. of lavender. Like it's it's I look good. But I, but anyway, I want to get a custom a couple yeah. a couple different colors of suits just to have. So any event, I can be like, I want to wear this color suit. It mm -hmm. looks so good. Um, but I was like, do I? I don't know if I should spend more money on the actual suit we wear at the wedding. I think marginally. I don't think you should spend ten grand, but I think like a grand, fifteen hundred, two grand is probably okay. okay. I feel like it's different for girls because like Taylor's gonna hand that dress down to like a niece or her daughter or whatever. Unless your son's a midget, you're not gonna hand the suit down to him. So <laughs> you know, speaking of handing down stuff, Taylor said that she was very adamant about this. She said that um, she said. My daughter can have anything she wants, like anything of mine, yeah. any anything, right? I'll hand like she can have all my handbags, yeah. like whatever she wants. But she said, she's not getting this engagement ring. She's like, even if she, if like that's the ring, that's the one. She's like, she's like, this. She's like, this engagement ring will die on my hand. Yeah, but then it's going somewhere. Taylor also said that she got mugged. Like if someone's like, give me that ring, yeah. she would immediately swallow the ring. I feel like that tear up your intestines or something, man. I don't think that's. She smart. says she just she said she would put her mouth and swallow it. But well, then they would just cut her stomach open. Maybe. Uh, yeah, Taylor puts a lot of her eggs in the basket of I'm having daughters. If y'all only have sons, she has a lot of like stuff that she claims she's giving to her daughter. Maybe you have like a niece. Is Chase having a kid? I think everyone's at this stage start, start, starting, that, starting down that rabbit hole okay. of having yeah. children. I noticed that Taylor frequently says that she's giving things to her daughter, and I'm like... Do y'all have, have anything? What's up? Would you, would you, uh, okay, how many kids do you and Taylor would have? At the most, three. Okay. But yeah. I think if we have a boy and a girl, I think we're done. What are your preferred... Okay, that's your preferred genders would be like one boy, one girl. If I could preference and do everything and choose exactly, right? And if you had two girls, you'd be okay with that? I mean, I, what would I... What will be the opposite <laughs> of like... I'm, I'm just seeing... you got options. I'm just seeing where you're at. What, uh, about, what about you? I would How love... How many kids do you see yourself at? All right. This is a crazy... Because I've said... I I would be cool with one, but I, I, I want two. Um... I have always said that I want a boy. I don't want a girl. But recently, I was in a situation where I was around a little, like, toddler girl that was super cute and, like, happy as could be and stuff. And then I went somewhere with, we, like, took a, a friend of ours, son, somewhere. Boys are weird, dude. Honestly, like, <laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards a daughter now. Yeah, they're I, putting like, little hot sauce boys in the wieners are and stuff. weird. Like, I, just the shit they say, I'm just like. Well, I think boys are are harder the first like the first seven years what? Cause, yeah cause, no because they get hurt they're throwing like i was breaking like the window into my house like kid, boys are just reckless but yeah, then you once were they a little shit bro i was an angel but, no. but once they get to like 12 13 then the, boy, the girl the boys yeah. get easy because they're kind of more obedient they kind of do their own thing and then girls want to like rebel against you and cause a bunch i think of problems. i think a, a like a toddler girl is way cuter than like a toddler boy I think I'd rather have a little girl until like seven, and then I think after that, do a little surgery. Soon, on <laughs> hey, we live in an age where they can be both. All right, uh, I I think you're right. I think after twelve, I think once the girls start like maybe not twelve, but whenever girls start like puberty, well, like I have a boyfriend at school, and like I think that's where I lose my shit. I think once my daughter like has a first boyfriend, like nah. When they start to also, they start to get really like uh, oh, and I'm rebellious, moody, yeah. and you know, yeah. here's here's what I'm hoping. Yeah. You know, I I feel like back in my day, uh, girls were. I mean, there there were some that weren't, but girls were generally 
let's say up until the, go to college, they were typically more reserved than the current generation of younger girls. Might maybe about like what they're posting, what they're wearing, kind of like mm. you know there there was. But I so you you've seen like a difference of kind of what girls will post of younger and now girls are you know, 16, trying to make themselves look like they're 20. And actually someone had an interesting analogy is that like when we were kids, girls or whoever like didn't have social media really to like see what the older girls were doing to try to emulate them. Whereas now, you know, 15, yeah, 16 they had, year olds can Paris like, can, but like, yeah, but it was, it's different. But what I'm saying is, yeah. do you think it's going to progressively get worse so that our daughters, I have to worry like that, like I'm just, I would say it's worse now than it was. And this applies but, to guys as well. But when I'm looking back, all right, look, so I, I was dating a girl for a while and she had a little brother. And I remember the brother saying like, oh, I had sex for the first time, like bragging about it. And he was like 14. And in my head, I'm like, holy shit, like what the hell are kids doing now? But then when I think back, like, yeah, I mean, there was, there was, a girl that got pregnant when we were in seventh grade, which would be 14. I would hear stories now about like kids getting caught, you know, Sing D under the stairs I don't, at I think like it's middle been school. There. And I'm like, what? I, I, think, I thought everyone had cooties. I and think that we're older now. So now we look back and we're like, oh my God, you're so young. But like, if I look back when I was 13, 14, 15, like that was happening. Like people were having not sex. In my, not in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the south. <laughs> Not in uh, the south. I think uh, I don't think it's any worse now. I may, maybe it is worse, but I think it was always happening. It's maybe it's more in your face now. It's yeah. it's a little bit more like approved by well, at least in some school, like California schools. I'm pretty sure they they uh, they approve more of uh, overt sexual activity. But I think it's always been there. Maybe now it's a little bit more accepted in your face. But I do think two things. One, I think. Like you're saying, Joe, when we get older, I think people naturally get like a little bit more conservative as they get older yeah. and their beliefs change. So then we're looking down at it, like shaking our finger at the kids. Mm -hmm. But like 15 years ago, we all probably just wanted to get laid no, no matter what it, what it took. So Same with drugs. I'm always like, oh, my God, like the kid's 13 years old and he smoked weed. And I'm like, I think we smoked weed for the first time. We were 13, 14. Not me. Like a friend's older brother was like, take it. I'm just saying, I think we did the same shit. It's just now that I'm almost 30 and some 14 year olds like, oh, I had sex. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? What are you doing? But when we were 14, that was... How do you, how do you when, when you're... It is, the pendulum swings a little bit because typically the younger generation's always been more liberal, but I'm pretty sure recent statistics yeah. show the younger generation's getting a little more conservative. The one between, after the ones under us. Like yeah, there's, you know, a, no, no. there's a generation <laughs> under us that's super liberal. And then now no. I think like the middle school, high school kids now are super conservative. So I think our generation was like, Degenerate. Then I think yeah. the one after us was the most degenerate, yeah. and I think the one after that is is reeling it back yeah. in a little bit. I agree with that. When when we're all uh, fathers, right, with our beautiful children, beautiful healthy children, put out that out in the world, mm -hmm. um, like at some point you're like, okay, they're gonna, you know, go to party and drink for the first time, no. or or like you know, a boy or smoke a the devil's lettuce for the first time. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Boy, we're talking there about is you, there is a double standard here. When I was 16, I'd get home and be like, Dad, I just hooked up with my girlfriend. He'd be like, good job, son. There was a high five. We're great. If my daughter comes home and is like, I just hooked up with three boys, like, get three the fuck up. Three boys? <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> if, if, if you in high school told your dad, like, oh, I hooked up with three girls tonight, like, no one was in trouble. You I never, fine. well, uh, you know, my, 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 I'm just my, saying, you would, I, there was no issue with that. As a dad, if my son came home and was like, I hooked up with a chick, I am not mad at all. If my daughter came home and said she hooked up with the guy, like, you're grounded for fucking two years. I agree. I agree. There's a double standard. It sucks. I agree. I, I agree. It's but, not but, fair. But, but I don't there's think a coming home standard. and telling no, that you hooked up is a thing that kids do. Or finding out. If I found out my son had sex when he was 15, I'm not that. What mad. if you find condoms in your daughter's? I'm pissed. 17 yes. year old. But that's why stand. you build a house with like a tower and you just lock your daughter in the. I tower think you told us that about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. You keep them in but, there but, forever. We're but Mormons and there's an apartment. How do you, how do you think you're gonna deal with t having the first? Well, I'm not talking about sex, but like. How do you think you're going to handle the first conversation about like, all right, son, daughter, whatever, like you're probably in the near future going to be in a situation where there's going to be alcohol. Like how do you, cause no one talked yeah, I, to I me. never had that talk. So like, how do you think, are you just going to like let it happen and then talk so. to them? Uh, well, I feel yeah. like, cause I don't know how to be a dad. I'm going to wing it. <sighs> well, yeah, we're all speculating here because none of us are dads, right? I imagine that like the example you've set up into that point speaks a lot louder than like the conversation you have for 20 minutes one day, right? Like if, if I'm a degenerate dad and I'm fucking drunk all the time, does it really matter if I tell my son like, hey, you know, yeah. be careful with that alcohol? Because like, I think he's already learned that he's probably going to abuse it. Hot button topic here. But <laughs> I will say that at least from my own experience, the 
girls or guys that had cool parents never did anything that bad. But the ones that were like super strict parents were the ones sucking dick in the bathroom at the parties, 100%. Like the super strict parent girls were always the ones that lost their shit in high school and were like ran through. Uh it's like you don't. I'm no. I'm not, I'm not saying about. I'm just maybe saying like for girls and guys, it might be different. Though. Stricter your parents are. Like I think the stricter you are on your kid, the more they're going to revolt against you and do shit that they shouldn't. I think there's a happy medium. Yeah. Because if your parent yeah. doesn't give a fuck at all, you if know, I'm looking back at the either. kids from my from my town, yeah. I don't know that those did so well. No, but I I think the ones that were like overly parented and weren't allowed to do anything, like the they went to college parents. and like yes. fucking lost their I think shit. There's like, got to be a, a moderation. Yeah. There. I would have yeah, kids yeah. in. I would have friends in high school and stuff, and that they, they would like tell me that like their parents smoke weed with them at like 17. And then, and I, as a kid was like, that seems strange. Like that seems weird mm. that at that age or something. I agree. But here, here's the thing. I would go to friends houses a lot where like the parents would allow the kids to have like a party. Like the parents were upstairs was at and, our house. and the, yeah, but well, well, I, the, I will, I don't want to have underage kids drinking at my nowadays house, the period. liability is not worth it but like in the early 2000s like no one was but there was an argument that like if you're a res more responsible parent like okay we'll do it at our house because we'll have the kids all leave their keys here when they go in they can't drive That's so after. much I, of a responsibility no no man. no but but i, th I know yeah. that some parents would do that so it's like at least they're doing it in a more controlled like environment than where they're going somewhere yeah exactly mm -hmm. rather yeah, than it, going completely wild yeah i agree in this day and age someone's gonna, gonna post sued. something and yeah. yeah yeah it's not gonna work but, out but yeah yeah, there were there were kids in our high school that like their parents would let us drink and stuff, but again, we weren't allowed to drive. We had to sleep there. Like okay, here, so they thought they were they thought the good outweighed the they bad. were giving us yeah. yeah, and maybe it was like who knows well, if we would have gone to a bridge somewhere. You like, know maybe what? Someone died. This won't be a problem because all of our kids are only going to hang out with <laughs> our friends' kids. So we'll talk and be like, yeah, those little fuckers are having, ripping <laughs> shots downstairs. Okay, here's situation. You 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 say your uh, daddy. Uh, I want to have some, um, like, five of my friends are going to come over, right? And you're like, cool, look at our beautiful home. Have them come in. I'll make pizzas. You find out that they're drinking downstairs. What do you do? How they're, old are they? Uh, they are. Yeah, what's the concept? Have I found them drinking before? How the old are they? First time, they're 16 years old, and you go downstairs, and you because you see one kid comes up to get some gummy bears, some sour strips, and uh, you see, he's like, that kid seems a little off more than he normally is. And uh, you go downstairs and you find a bottle and you find out that they're all drinking. I mean, I would I would take it away. I wouldn't like scream. Would you it. make a scene? What no, I, I wouldn't like scream at them. That's not gonna do anything. I'd take yeah. I'd take it away. Maybe depending on their age, call their parents, have them come pick them up, and then just like. Are you narking? You telling their parents? I mean, if you have a bunch of kids with alcohol, I don't I know. Mean, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I, I how else are you gonna if they've been drinking? I think I think you address it later. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would take. I think I would take the alcohol. Away. I, but it depends. It depends. Also, are they like, like I take it and drink it? <laughs> I'm gonna drink this in front of you and show you how bad. It is. Watch this, kids. But are they? Are they if, they're, if, if they're down there and they're like politely, just like you know, one glass yeah. each. Maybe that's different than if they're like getting really no, wild. Sixteen year old drunk. One, no, one glass. Yeah, each. That's why I'm they're saying, not having yeah. a glass of wine. Like, but that's that's why I'm taking it away. Probably, I, and I'll probably call their parents. Yeah, I probably would. I, uh, I the girl I dated in high school, his dad. I used to sleep over at her house. And I always, I was cool with it, obviously. Like, I'm having a great time. But I always thought, like, it's crazy that your dad's letting me. Like, he had no problem. Like, she was, I, she was 15, I was 16, yeah. and I would sleep over there every weekend. I would have yeah, been okay. Yeah, I would I, never. I, there I, would yeah. be a chance in hell. I've had scenarios, like, my high school girlfriend, like, I, if we stayed at her parents' house, like, yeah. her, her mom would be fine with me and the daughter staying in the same room under yeah. the house. And even then, I was like, really? Yeah, yeah that's my, I was like, is your dad going to so, bust okay, in here anymore? So, okay, here's little yeah. scenario uh and and is it flipped on either well, you can say for a boy or girl okay their boyfriend or girlfriend comes over okay are they allowed to be in their room can the door be closed can they be in an area where the door's closed do they have to hang out in the living room what's your requirements no i think i don't think that i'm gonna be letting them sleep over at this age but i think they can hang out in the room if i have a door. boy i don't care if i have a girl mm -mm. I, th I still think so. They're saying, "Daddy, we're gonna go. We're gonna go watch a movie in the movie room." And they go and they close the door. Like, what do you? I mean, you're not gonna be able to prevent them from having time alone. Like you always. Go, you go. I and agree. Say, hand the, check. Hand I check. agree, though, that if I'm if it's a boy, that I'm not even worried about it at all. If it's a girl, why you're not? I'm worried? probably gonna. Because if it's a girl, you're afraid she's gonna be taken advantage of by a guy. If it's a guy, you're not really worried he's gonna be taken advantage of sexually by a girl, right? Like that. There's there's a double standard because. In high school, like girls get raped. Guys ain't getting around getting raped in high school. Yeah, dudes are a little. No, I'm not going as far as like rape. But I, I'm saying like I, dudes I, I are it was manipulative. Happens. Yeah, I'm just saying like guys 
can get girls to do okay, things that right. I didn't want to do. I, where I don't I think thought, girls are like convincing the guy. You know, I thought under, under those scenarios, I thought it was more of like preventing on both sides like a pregnancy of accident. I, I didn't even that happen, think of it. I didn't. I mean, I would. I was assuming of like sexual well, that, assault. Like I, that's like off the table. Yeah. I would hope that. I mean, my dad always just like wrap it up. Don't have a kid. That was okay. No one told me anything. Honestly, you figured it out. You didn't have a kid. So didn't have a kid. Look at you. Again, I think if you. If you if you lead by the a solid example that a lot of these things get solved for without having to like explicitly say it, yeah, I guess it, it'll just be a, it's going to be tricky. Like uh, like it, a lot of times when I get stressed about like I think I'm going to be a great father and I think we're all going to be great fathers, but I I there is a part of me that goes like I don't know like what to do. like do I like how how I how I be a father, but then I think I'm 34 when when my mom was I think of like my parents at my age. My dad was older. He was 35. My mom was 34. I was already like five. My, my mom already had a nine-year-old at my age. And I'm like, she probably, like you think your parents just know everything, but they probably just were winging it. I, I, I need to really ask my mom, yeah. like, mom, like, did you, were you just winging it? Like what? Like I think they I, have to. I think you kind of have to let kids figure it out on their own too. Cause like you remember, like we think we know everything. No I matter do. what, I, I mean, you definitely act like you do. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like as a as a kid, like I could tell my kid, like, hey, don't take random drugs at a party. There could be fentanyl, and you might die. But like, when I was that age, or someone's like, oh, you want to smoke? Like, okay, like, no matter how much you beat into someone's head, like, I feel like, I feel like a lot of parents are like tell their kids over and over, like this, this, and this. But at the end of the day, like, they're gonna do it. Same with, I mean, when I was 15, I thought I met the love of my life and was getting married. You couldn't tell me otherwise. I don't, I don't want to go to All college right, son, anymore. If you're going to smoke crack, you do it with me first. Yeah, and like, in high, you know, your parents are like, no, this is a high school relationship. Like, you're not going to get married. Don't worry. But at 15, you don't, I mean, I was convinced there was, it didn't matter what my dad told me. I'm, this is it. I feel like kids have that. Like, they got to learn yeah. on their own a little bit. Like, I feel you like, again, figure it out. I feel like you, 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 you lead like a healthy life yourself. Yeah. You have like a loving relationship with your wife. And a lot of times people say that's actually the most important thing is like, you don't, you leave by example. Oh, well, right? no, but a lot of times, like you prioritize the kids over your relationship, and then they see like a not healthy relationship. Even though both of you want the best for the kids, they're in a house where like the parents aren't really on the same page, and they're fucked anyway. So a lot of times, they actually prioritize the relationship over the kids. And then I think you want to be able to like, like I always felt like one thing I think my parents did well is I always felt like I could talk to them about anything. So I didn't hide anything from them, whether yeah. it was girls or drugs or whatever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hide it from yeah, them. I, I think so I'd want to create that same environment for my kids just to, to be comfortable telling me everything. Yeah. No one, I'm not gonna like hit them or like yell at them or anything. Yeah. I think like figuratively beating it into them that, that, uh, that like, you know, Hey, just like, just don't lie to me. Mm -hmm. And just like, you can tell me anything and I'll, 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 I won't be, I won't be mad at that moment. Maybe it's a boundary that gets set, but I'm not going to like be yeah. kill okay. you in that moment. Fi yeah. Final question on this, this topic in this, here's the scenario. Mm -hmm. Your son, daughter gets in a relationship at 16 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Starts dating someone. And two years later at 18, they go, I want, I got asked for marriage or I want to ask for marriage. Do you let them get married at 19 or 20 years old? I mean, after 18, they're their own. I know, they but like, fuck they want. Would, you, would you advise them not to do it or would you be I like, would advise them definitely not to do it. Even if you, you love the other person, you think they're good. So, like, okay. Okay. So the situation is, you is, think it, you think it's if, as, just on the age. as healthy of a relationship as it could be for 18 yep. or 19 year old. Yep. And you really like the other person. Yeah. Would, would, I mean, would, would, I, you, would you tell them, would you advise them be like, I'd re like, re I really think about this or would you go, I'm so happy for you. I'd probably challenge them. Hey, can y'all like wait a couple of years and see like we're at a part of our lives where like our bodies and everything's changing a lot. I'm not saying not <laughs> our bodies are changing. <laughs> no, but your mind's developing. You're getting a lot of new experiences. Well, you also like, don't, I mean, at 18, you've never had a job job. Yeah. Like, I, I'm like, just asking like, what would you do? What I would you? say, I think you guys should like, I'm not saying not to do it. Just like push it off another year and then probably then after that so year at, at 20 you're fine no then i probably tell well, them that, yeah. probably tell them again, hey, let's push it off one more year no i think 20 is better i just think like you're like go focus on getting a career like you shouldn't be focused on getting married right now you should be focused on like the next two years are going to decide yeah, but they're just the going but i don't understand where we have we have yeah. we have money look at this house we're in you're not going to stop you never it. made me do anything Dad. but also a lot of we don't have money <laughs> I have money. yeah yeah you don't have shit no, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, ch I'd challenge them to push it off. Because a lot of times that also yeah. makes the decision, you know, if they come back a year later and like we still feel exactly the same, it's like, all right, well, maybe you guys do do this. But if they come back a year later, maybe they've broken up, you know? It's like, fuck, thank God y'all waited a year. Like how three dudes that have no kids are talking about how to raise kids. No, we're not talking. We're saying, like, in this scenario, I like, know, well, saying, we don't know. The and the answer though. is, like, I, I don't know. Yeah. And I'm sure people watching who have kids are probably going to be like, yeah, like, you, you think you know 
what's going to happen, but like you have no idea. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. We don't know shit. I'm excited. I'm, 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 ex- I'm excited. I was I like anti kids, but like for a long time, I was like fine with just being like the cool uncle. But yeah. now I'm like, I'm, I'm very excited. And I, it's obviously me and Taylor, but like I'm, I'm really excited to, to take like the next chapter of my life with Taylor and like start a family. I'm like stoked to do it. What are your fears about having kids? I mean, I guess it's not fears, but I, I guess like, I guess you like were, I, I worry a lot about like, I'll try to be the best dad I can. And what if it's either not good enough and they end up either going down the wrong path or doing something, or I'm going to try so hard to like set a good example that I'm going to be overbearing and not, and not like allow them to do enough things because I'm trying to like make sure they're protected or anything like I, w- I guess I won't know how to do that balance because me growing up, I don't have the life. I don't have the like the life that I'm going to give to my kid. I never had anything remotely to that growing up. So it's like I'm going to be raising a kid like in a world that is completely opposite. I can't just take exactly what I did as a kid of like how we yeah. were, how, what we did for fun, how we managed to talk about whether it be money, where we lived, like the size of our home. Like I can't compare anything to my childhood versus now well, bro and even from a technology standpoint i mean yeah. imagine the well, difference I, from when we grew up to now based on our kids like it's going to be a whole i mean by the time our kids are 12 fucking vr headsets and shit are going to be everyone's going to have these i mean it's gonna be well, a completely different environment than it is right now yeah i feel like my kids won't have like screens unless we're like watching a movie as a family they or something I mean, up to a certain up to a certain point you can let your kid have an ipad at dinner no, definitely. Yeah, I would not be that. Yeah, I, that no. I cringe so hard when I see that shit. I, I, but it's also like, what if they're sitting there just... And take them outside ah! and beat their ass. Okay. <laughs> That's... I, I mean, what, what do you mean okay? That's what you do. When I saw... What? That, what, what, what? I, if I was acting up at dinner, my dad would walk me outside, spank me, and I'd shut the hell up and go back and eat my food. Yeah, that's actually what... Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. happened to me multiple times. I don't my know why grandma this is bad to talk about. Yeah, yeah. I definitely got slapped across and the face. Now you look at, bro, when I see on TikTok the fucking kids complaining about shit with purple hair and stuff because they didn't get spanked. 100%. Yeah, but like that's that's, that's, that, that's a, a thing. I don't I don't think you... There's a, a correlation. Mm. There's a correlation between when... I'm not going to say abusing your child. No, you... No. When disciplining your child became like a taboo and you couldn't do it anymore and the new kids. But even when there we were growing up, there was correlation. like correlation. Even when we were growing up, there was like punk rock kids with colored hair and mohawks. And yeah, stuff. but that was different. Those kids were not. They were still there. They didn't think they were animals and shit. That's a different level. Well, I agree, it's a different yeah. level. But I don't know if that's all. That's some of that's parenting. Yeah, a lot of that's beyond dude. parenting, though. I, think. I don't know. Well, some no matter what, we're gonna be on this uh, this journey um, very soon. I think for a lot of us and. Um, mm. I don't know about Joe. Know. Oh, well, a lot of us is a two number. I always thought I'd be. I always thought I'd be first, but not because I like was getting married and having. I just figured I'd have a kid by now. Joe, Joe's shooting blanks. Honestly, I might be. I, I need to get tested. We've talked about this before, but like I'm either the luckiest guy in the history of <laughs> guys, or I'm shooting blanks. You're like, like how is no way. how is every rapper like having one night stands and having six kids? Yeah, and that's like, what I'm like when you see basketball players <laughs> with 18 kids. I'm like, how, how am I getting away with? Uh, probably should get tested. Yeah, honestly, like I've, I've thought about well, because also like I've been told I don't know I don't know anything about the female anatomy. I don't really know where where is the vagina. <laughs> Joe, but, <laughs> Joe's like, does the female <laughs> orgasm exist? But <laughs> I've always I've been told that like girls can only get pregnant for like a, a short window of time. It's true. Uh, ovulation. But, like, how many kids in high school like got their first girlfriend, had sex for the first well, time, I, I and think knocked it's her not, up? Like, are they the most unlucky dudes in the world, or am I like off here? Well, girls that young probably higher fertility, but also sperm lives like stays alive inside the woman's body if you come inside I'm of her for, for like I, I three hear all or four these, like, days or it's like oh like getting pregnant is actually week. like kind of hard and i'm like not for i have 10 friends that had kids in like high school or right out of high school name all of them right now really no <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can uh yeah well uh here's to you know choosing to have children on our own time uh but that is gonna wrap this up david's got to hop on a uh, big old business call and like 10 minutes here. So uh, I want to thank you both for coming on. Hey, we should have you back next week. You know why? Because I don't have any other guests. <laughs> I'll be we back next didn't week. We say <laughs> anything about politics, so you're welcome. People, People's biggest thing with you is they say that you talk with such, such conviction that yeah. you make people believe that what you're saying is factual, Good. but then they say that Joe doesn't know what he's talking about and it's wrong. No, no. I just look at everything with a... Let's do some politics next week. Common sense. I... I 
mind. We'll do a whole politics episode where I just I don't say anything. You can be the I, moderator. Ooh. There you go. I'd be like, okay. You should replace times me, up, though. Joe. Would you, are you, would you say you're left or right leaning? Um, it's. Do you want to put that on the internet? Wait, no, I can't. Yeah. No, but I feel like the the windows change. Right, 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 right is Republican, right? Yes. Yeah. Given current politics, I'm more aligned with the right. Okay, so then you should replace me with like. I feel like you need to get like a liberal and a right leaning on the same. Podcast. I'm sure people probably in the the comments, but like I I would want someone who's like actually understands more than I. Yeah. Like I would want you to ask me like ten questions, and based on my answer, you tell me which one I am because I don't know. We can do that next time. We can do it right Because I, I don't I don't know like which it's. Well, we'll do it next week. Let's do that next no, week. No, I don't want to do that. Let's no, start no, no, no. Yeah, We're not we'll doing fine. politics. We're not doing politics. Um, <laughs> that will be that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. New episodes every single Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, unless I don't post one. If you're on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're on any sort of podcast streaming service, give us five-star review. Don't know what it does, but I think it helps. Thank you so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips and... Ever forward. And stay beastly. I'm a cool outro.